Hi, welcome back to Storytime TV. I'm Karen, and today I'll be reading This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago, and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. He thought he would call him Marcel. He began following Marcel, explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. Much of the time, it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening, but Wilfred knew he was, mostly because he followed Rule 4 very well, not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored Rule 7, going whichever way Wilfred wants to go. The moose had a very good sense of direction, and Wilfred did not. And because the moose was particularly poor on Rule 7, subsection B, maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilfred quickly learned to bring some string along on their outings so he could find his way back again. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with Rule 11, providing shelter from the rain. Or Rule 16, knocking down things that are out of Wilfred's reach. Good work. One day, as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Someone else thought she owned the moose. Rodrigo, you're back. Wilfred was dumbstruck. This moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilfred thought it only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heel. But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good, Rodrigo. Embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred rushed off for home. Fine. But in his haste, and miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. And there he lay. Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried. It was getting late, and the monsters would be out soon. He had just ruled out the last of his options. No problem. Thanks. When along came the moose. And performed Rule 73 brilliantly. Rescuing your owner from perilous situations. All was forgiven. And perhaps, Wilfred admitted, he'd never really owned the moose anyway. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules whenever it suited him. Dominic, you're back, and you brought me an apple. Uh-oh, someone else thinks they own the moose. That was a cute story. I don't think anyone owns that moose. I think the moose is just doing his thing. Thank you so much for joining me, and let us know below in the comments if you have a favorite book you'd like us to read on Storytime TV, and Peyton or her daddy Reed or I will read it. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye! I hope you liked this story. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for visiting Storytime TV.